So Anton, while we've been discussing major product updates, there are also ongoing technical improvements that enhance uh, the user experience. Can you please uh, walk us through some of the latest technical upgrades and what users can expect moving forward? Of course, behind the scenes, we're building big stuff that people don't see, but what people can see is some minor improvements that we are implementing from time to time and something that is already live and affects everyone. First of all, is our changes to PNL formula, because previously there were some reports on incorrect PNL displaying in various cases. We've been checking it, and uh, the good news is that we fix the formula now. In other cases, it should show correct numbers. This formula is going to be implemented on actually various products in future for us. That's the first minor update. Second minor update, as you may know, like on the wallet section, we started showing all meme tokens that you bought in our meme pad. And previously you were not able to get redirected to trading page from these token icons. Right now, if you go to wallet, if you click on an icon uh, of any coins that you bought on our meme pad, you will be there, uh, redirected to the correct page where you can instantly buy more or sell depending on what is needed from your side. Right now, we're starting showing on the main page where you have bloom points and meme points. We're also starting showing if you have any coins to claim for airdrop. For example, recent case is FBI Bank. We airdrop in total, I think, 5 million coins to our community. If you didn't claim it yet, you should be able to see it on the home screen of our mini app as well and claim it straight from, from that page. It's also quite convenient. And in case we will have more airdrops in future, and probably we will have, you will see new coins there as well if you're eligible for airdrop. What about AI? Because in the latest times, the AI platforms were just the intermediary between like ChatGPT or similar language models and something else. And when we're talking about uh, AI and trading, there's not that much on the market already shown, right? Can you also explain what kind of things are working through to get AI into Bloom and what it might look like? That's a great topic. That's something that we put quite a lot of efforts right now and uh, we're building actually a number of products around this. And I think it was partially covered in the past already. Users will be able to launch a meme token with AI agent. What this agent will be able to do for the token itself, first of all, it will be able to post different narratives in Twitter and in Telegram related to this token. But what's way more exciting is that we are doing trading functionality as well. In some near future, probably you will be able to see the first AI trading agents that we're going to introduce to the market. Basically, they will uh, like include some kind of trading strategy. You can put some money into uh, their balance and they will start trading on various coins using this balance that you put into it. And moving forward, you will be able to create your own agent like this that will, of course, be more customizable from your side in terms of your, for example, likeness and uh, what risk you can afford, what specific maybe coin trades you want. This is going to be more customizable, but the core features will be the same that it will be able to trade on your behalf. The balance is going to be settled, I think, once per day for now. Bot going to doing rebalance of the assets every 24 hours and will show or will not show <laughs> some trading performance. We're going to do it in a marketplace model where like we're going to show all the trading bots that are available right now and users can check how many assets are under the management of these trading bots. What are their like trading performance in terms of ROI? Is it positive or negative? So you can choose any bot you prefer and Put your money on it. Also, it will be very secure because each user will have a separate wallet for the bot. It's not like you're dumping all the money from various users to, to the one bot. No, bot manages each wallet separately for each user. I think two closest features that we're going to introduce to the market in terms of AI, but we have like huge plans. We're going to implement it into various products and build Bloom as a AI-driven trading infrastructure in future. A lot of in users would love to have the strategy which you just tell to make positive incomes for myself and, you know, make my $100 deposit, 100 USDTs, you know, a million in a couple of months. <laughs> you think we will ever be able to come to this place where the bots can trade only positively or, of course, not? What do you think? Yeah, that's something I would like to see myself as well, <laughs> I would say, because my trading experience is not that effective. Of course, how bots they take different decisions, right? And this is quite similar to real users. Some decisions may be good, some decisions may be 
that sometimes they get lucky. The core of this like ecosystem of bots is that all of them are interacting with each other, sharing information, sharing like what decisions went well and what decisions went bad. And of course, there will always be some big cohort of bots that are, may lose some money in some trades, may win some money in some trades, and some of them may be smaller cohort, like five or 10% will be more effective. And good thing is that you always can choose other bot and trade with him, which is bringing you more money. But of course, yes, yeah, some of them will lose, some of them will win, but in general, they should earn on their mistakes altogether. The more bots will have, the better their efficiency will get in the future. But you think they will take into consideration the market situation? And uh, for example, Donald Trump and Elon Musk's Twitter's uh, posts as well, which uh, sometimes do trigger the market towards better ways or the worst ways sometimes. That depends on the strategy, I think, right? Probably it may be customized in a way that's like, look, track these guys' Twitter's and if they tweet something and if someone launches a coin in the comments under this tweet, buy it instantly. This also can be a strategy, right? There are some surprising results that we recently get on our like internal tests that during the very bad day this Monday when everything was like dropping hard, actually one bot managed to earn 10% on his portfolio in a day, which looks really promising. Maybe he just got lucky, but maybe that's something that it may work in future. So I would say that once this product is launched and reached some good scale in terms of amount of trades, amount of bots that are live trading and the amount of assets that are being under their management, we can see good data that can prove this concept. I think we're moving towards Natalia. Natalia, sorry for waiting. Uh, we just recently launched the multi-chain trading in Bloom. It was the major update for our ecosystem. Can you also please uh, share uh, the key features which are now available to users and why you think this integration of different new chains, I can say it now, Solana, and uh, more chains are coming up as well. And, uh, you know, multi-chain, uh, it gained massive popularity among traders, especially DGENs. Uh, what are the key benefits of of, uh, integrating Solana into Bloom. So since users can trade multi-chain directly within the Bloom ecosystem, it's good because the, the feature has a low transaction fees and high speed, making it ideal for active traders and digital players as well. There are some bots available on the market, some of them good, some of them not. And I think we are trying to make it beneficial for our users, not in terms of the speed and not in terms of the fees, but also their rewards because users can earn additional rewards uh, by trading Bloom trading bot, right? How does the meme point system works in the context of uh, multi-chain trading uh, at Bloom? Yeah, so for every $10 transactions in more, users get the meme points, 750 meme points for each $10. So it provides additional value beyond the profits from trading itself. So it works for all the chains and all the transactions and meme points are credited to your account instantly. This is clear. Can we also share the key functionalities which are already available and maybe some functionalities might come up? We have a lot of users, hundreds of thousands of users, right? Who is uh, trying and using and joining the trading board at Bloom, but a lot of users still are not there. So let's explain them what functionalities they can do inside the instrument? Yeah, first of all, users can create their wallets. If they don't have one, it's pretty easy. It takes just a few clicks. Or if you have your wallet, you could import it to the Bloom trading bot as well. And to start the, the trading, you need to deposit some Sol, Sol or Ton tokens to your wallet. And it's really easy and quick. So no log period, nothing like this. You just uh, deposit immediately and start trading. The same with the withdrawals. Once you want to get your funds back, it uh, happens immediately. And uh, also trading is really fast because of the direct access to the nodes. Your trading executes immediately, much faster than on regular decks. You could trade the market orders right now and the limit orders are coming pretty soon, I would say. We are working on developing even more advanced features. It includes copy trading, sniping tools, which makes trading even more efficient and profitable for our users. We are like building proper referral system for the trading bot as well. Something that many people were anticipating for a long time. Hopefully soon it's also going to be live for both uh, Ton and Solana. So you'll be able to earn from like your friends' trades as well. Analia, so it's it's been a powerful upgrade for Bloom. What impact will this integration have to the ecosystem and the users of both Ton and Solana? So Solana is one of the fastest growing blockchain networks. 
with an active DGN and meme coin culture, making this perfect fit for Bloom as well. So this updates expand their ecosystem, attracting more and more trading volume, liquidity, and earning opportunities for our users. So users basically will have an access to the high range of tokens. And with meme point reward system, you're just hitting a new trading network, making trading even more profitable and engaging. I just wanted to say that we have a couple of cool incentives for you guys, especially for the trading guys and the guys who are very creative. We have the Bloom Creators League. Uh, with a $500 price pool and meme pad token creators incentive. We are waiting for the best results on the uh, meme pad as well. Uh, we still have uh, prizes left, so hurry up and uh, join now all these two incentives and the new incentives are going to be coming up. I can uh, maybe uh, have a little teaser. We're going to be having the very big and uh, very interesting airdrop slash uh, token giveaway, which will be announced on our Twitter today. If you're not signed up to our Twitter, please do it now. Today, we're going to announce the very, very big airdrop and price pool for the new thing. Are there any offline events planned in the Middle East? I guess uh, United Arab Emirates can be treated as the Middle East. Uh, I think Anton is the specialist in geography, right? So we're going to be having, and we're planning to attend Token 2049, of course, in Dubai, which is going to be happening uh, at the end of April, beginning of May. And we are preparing this side event, which, of course, is going to be very, very cool. If you have not seen our latest uh, event in Istanbul, which was packed with Istanbul Turkish uh, community, I think in Dubai is going to be very, very cool. Last year, it was packed and we have the huge lines. So make sure that you're going to be registered First, we have our own Luma page. You can find it at Luma by typing Bloom, uh, where we post all of our events we post there and the registration is going to be open. So this is about the offline events in Middle East. Will there be AI features that will make trading more efficient? Maybe something for rate predictions. That's something we've also been looking for like at some future. Agents will be able to like communicate with each other in terms of what coins to buy. I can see the future where agents act as like cabals deciding what to pump or like what to sell. That can, of course, increase the trading efficiency, especially if all of these agents, for example, will be having meme coins. If some of them see that they're getting good traction, I don't know, in X and traffic is getting in, they got more views they may collectively decide to pump this token, for example. This is going to be fun to see. I applied for a job opportunity at Bloom. When will you get back to me? Actually, we receive hundreds of applications each uh, week and uh, there's a career portal uh, which has uh, been rolled out recently. You can check it out by the way and we uh, are recruiting not only the development uh, team but also the Bloomies, the guys who are helping us out, the volunteer position. Also if you don't have much experience in uh, crypto, you can apply for this uh, role and of course it takes time for us to reply to the candidates. Please be patient and we will get back to you. What do you plan to do after the TG? What changes should we expect? Maybe Natalia, you want to add after Anton starts? I think, of course, we're going to keep building our products because before the TG, we will not be able to release everything we planned in a perfect condition, of course, because we're always like trying to launch products first and then develop it further and further, adding more features. So that's something definitely we're going to be doing. Plus, we're going to be expanding our platform presence after the TGE as well. Probably before the TGE, we'll be able to release our like web platform. And after the TGE, probably we're going to have our mobile application as well for iOS and Android. Of course, we'll be improving our products a lot. We'll be scaling our team. And I think after this, we going to be more data focused, checking not the basic idea, like, but already on a level of incremental improvements and small improvements of some tech features, like, for example, what design works the best, what user experience works the best in this particular space, trying to improve everything uh, as much as possible. Building a product even harder than building a house. And building a house takes a lot of efforts, and I think it's never-ending process. Yeah, so coming back to the topic of our previous AMO with you, Vladimir, yeah, we're going to not only extend the platforms, but also develop perpetuals, which is actually a really cool feature for our, our users. And uh, every time we will looking for the feedback from our users to improve the platforms according to feedback, guys. You are the internal world of memes uh, inside of Bloom, right? So you're like the business owner of the meme pad. And uh, I think you, you can answer this question with the huge uh, background in exchanges such as Binance and BitGet, right? What is a good trading volume in Bloom Trading Board from drop perspective? 
how much they need to make a volume to receive a good airdrop. There have been um, recently the um, contest, like the trading competition, and uh, it's in our blog. There is a spreadsheet with the rating of guys who earn min coins, which are given for trading. So you can compare it to yours. And uh, then you can make the decision whether you made enough volume by trading in Bloom or not. But maybe, Anton, you maybe know, like, what's the average trading volumes on spot? Because currently we have the similar to spot volumes, right? We don't have the perpetuals yet for a regular average user inside the exchange. I would say that the where it depends on the user and his trade style. In terms of, like, meme coins, usually everything happens quite fast, especially like on like other networks. And uh, since we in our trading bot implemented them and now like trading is multi-chain, actually you can pump your volume quite easily, right? Because transactions are fast, fees are not that high. You can trade a lot actually. In terms of like market situation, I would say, and like what you can see on various platforms for like other airdrops, usually big traders have hundreds of thousands or even millions like of trading volume. It doesn't mean that you need to spend a million dollars on it because you, you buy, you sell, that's how you like double. I don't know if you buy and sell for hundred dollars, it's already $200 trading volume. That That's how you can actually do this. Plus you are not obliged to trade high risk, low cap meme coins. You can trade something bigger, something with less volatility to make sure that nothing unpredictable will not happen when you are doing your buy and sell operation. 